Greetings friends, welcome to the first edition of Todo Fine, the youth magazine of Fine Tune English. I'm Santiago Torres and I will be the driver of this space dedicated especially for you. Hello everybody, my name is Gabriela and today I'm going to talk about common mistakes in English. Most of the time the people make mistakes when they want to refer about quantity. For that reason it's essential for you to know how to use countables and uncountable nouns. Here we have some examples and also advices for you to avoid these little mistakes. Uncountable nouns. This is about the things that you can't count. In this case, you can't use articles and numbers. For example, you should never say I need a milk or I need a water. You should say I need some milk or some water. Also, if you want to talk about the quantity of that, you have to say bubble or cup of. For example, I need three bottles of water or I need a cup of milk. In a way, full of English learning offers, One Man's Academy, Fast Learning Programs, and Garage Institute comes the worst of all. The Gringo Feliz Center, where learning English is not an option. For homework, pages 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72 for tomorrow in your student book. Hello guys, I'm Jordi. And today we are going to discover the different species that hide in the incredible world of Language Institute. Firstly, we are going to present a very typical kind of student who always has Teacher, an excuse. You won't believe me, my dogs died. Come in! Teacher. There was a lot of traffic today, but tomorrow I arrive early, I promise you. Sorry, teacher. So, <laughs> I, I forget my backpack, teacher. So, uh... So it is not Saturday today? No. There exists another curious species called so, Halley uh, Comet. It present is an event that very few so, had seen. And Angie. I am here, I am here. What? Why? I thought you were at another school or working. Or dead. Teacher, that happened. I don't have internet in my house today. <laughs> Unlikely, the previous species, this is easy to identify and find. This species is called Judas, okay, who for everybody. his benefit so can sacrifice owner, his classmate. Hey, teacher. Yes? Don't forget to check the homework. Oh, thank you, Gabby. You're going to get an extra two points on the test. Yes! Also exists another student called the Confuse. Okay, guys, take out a sheet. What happened, Pamela? Nothing, I'm just giving you if you can give me a sheet, a piece of sheet or a piece of paper. Ah, a sheet. Yes. <laughs> you need to work on your pronunciation. Also, you have to know that uncountable nouns only have one form. It means that they never have plural. For example, a moment of happiness, a bit of money, some information or some news. In Loja there are many historic, interesting and awesome places to visit. We can learn more about our culture and the history in the architecture. The cathedral, which is one of the largest churches in Ecuador, 
is located in the center of the city, in front of the Central Park. All important events are celebrated in it, from city festival to weddings. Here, every August 20, thousands of people in pilgrimage arrive to the cathedral for their religious and commercial celebrations. In the 16th century, the cathedral was built when the Spanish people arrived in the city. The cathedral has a religious treasures and an immense historical wealth. The church bell is, was brought from Germany by Bishop in 1836. Another key thing is important is the cathedral has a unique architectural style. The murals were changed, painted and improved to give it a semi-gothic style. That's all for today. I hope you that enjoy our presentations about the cathedral in Loja. Contable nouns. This is easy for you because you can use numbers or articles. For example, a hour or three hours, a banana or three bananas, an apple or three apples. Also, you must know how to answer certain questions. For example, if somebody asks you how many are with you, you can say I'm with eight people because persons in English is not common. It's all for this video, I really hope you enjoyed and also learned from these little tips to improve your English. See you the next time! This time I'm going to talk about of the best 4 video games in 2019, so let's begin! Number 4, Days Gone, set on the Apocalypse Forest of Oregon. If you like the zombie video games, you can enjoy it. This game has a giant world to explore. You can find tools to fight with greatest monsters. Number 3, Shakiro, Shadow Dies Twice. The protagonist of this video game is a lonely disfigured ninja, who seeks to restore his honor and take revenge on his enemies. Number 2, Devil May Cry 5. Devil May Cry 5, in my personal opinion, is the best video game that has arrived in 2019. In this new delivery, demons back to bring war. Dante and Nero come back with a new mysterious character. No doubt, you will enjoy this video game. It's full of action and entertainment. And number 1, Resident Evil 2. The legendary horror, Resident Evil 2, come to our PlayStation 4. To fill us with much fear, you must try it. It's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Toda Fine. Don't forget to subscribe in our channel, activate the bell, remember to follow us in our social networks. I'm Santiago. Until next time, be Todo Fine.